What's up everybody, it's Mitchell here, aka Miwi, playing a new game for you, Scribblenauts Unlimited. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people play this game, I've seen trails for it, and I decided, you know what, I'll do it. It looks fun, and it seems like you can do pretty much anything in this game. I mean, come on, it's got the word Unlimited in it. So, without further ado, let's head on in. Now, this is the second time recording it, unfortunately. I kind of messed Our up the first time. Begins. I thought it didn't record, which it did, and I kind of screwed around, so... This is the you second time. This, so... But Grandpa Edgar used to be the world's greatest adventurer. Grandma Julie would beg to differ. She was also an adventurer. Edgar would often brush away vines or open doors thought to be undisturbed for generations, only to find Julie was already there, having lunch. They competed like this on adventure after adventure. On one adventure, Julie beat Edgar to the top of a long-lost pyramid. But the treasure she found was an engagement ring. The two of them semi-retired to start a family, and they continued starting that family until they had 42 children. One day, Mom and Dad gave Maxwell and me two amazing gifts. The first was a magic globe that let you travel anywhere in the world. The second was the most amazing notebook. This notebook let you write any word in it, and poof, the word would come to life. Our parents were worried about us turning out to be spoiled little brats, so they sent us out to face the challenges of the outside world. On the road to the city, we ran into an old man who said he was hungry. Maxwell made something to give him, but he played a nasty trick. The apple was rotten. Oh, the old man spat it out as soon as he tasted it and was very, very angry. As he cast some sort of magic, he called us spoiled little kids, and then disappeared. It didn't seem like anything had happened. But when Maxwell turned to continue down the road, I couldn't follow him. The old man had put a curse on me that was turning me to stone. We didn't know what to do. Luckily, our brother Edwin's farm was nearby. Boy, you should have seen how angry Edwin was. He couldn't believe what we did to the old man and said we probably deserved what we got. Lucky for us, Edwin knew about starites. Starites are magical objects born out of the happiness of others. When you do enough things to make others happy, you will find starite. Hopefully, if Maxwell used the notebook's power for good, he could collect enough starite to remove the curse. Maxwell said, that's it. I'm gonna go out and do good things for all the people I can find. I'm gonna get all the starites in the world, and I'm gonna make you better, Lily. So Maxwell grabbed his notebook and headed for the door. Okay, I am back. Now, it looks like we're gonna be starting up the first level. Walk to the farmer. Okay. Now, I'm gonna say right now, t okay. Earn a star by helping Edwin with his award-winning pig. Okay. So, I'm gonna answer the age-old question. It may not just be me, but it might be anybody who does videos, but what do you do when there's a cutscene like that? Well, I personally, I text back my girlfriend because she probably gets mad by, like, why aren't you texting me for like two hours? Because I'll, I'll record like a two-hour session. So, hold on. Turn the runt of the litter into an award-winning pig. Write an object to help Maxwell scrub the pig. Huh? So yeah, I usually text back my girlfriend or text somebody, text people back, go on Facebook or something. So let's do a brush. No, I want to do a hair. Do give it to you. Let us clean this dirty little pig of yours. Click the progress bar for the current hint. Okay, now let's remove this object. Throw this piece of junk in the trash. The pig looks great, 
Now, use an adjective to increase the pig's size. Ooh, I, I got it. I got the perfect one. Oops. Steroids. Ah. Man. Fine. Uh, gigantic. Oops. Booyah! Help the pig win the talent competition. Use an adjective and a noun to create wings large enough to carry the pig. Really? I'll date you when pigs can fly. Okay, let me just write this down. Okay, look, a pig's flying. <laughs> hints are unlocked over time. Click on the associated object to view its hint. Uh, for you, the new hint. I kind of figured out I needed to make a big wing, so let's do gigantic angel wings. A magic backpack stores objects for later. Throw the wings in the backpack and wait for the judges to arrive. Okay. This will be interesting. So we got a hippie, a cowboy, and something else. Okay, that brown one right there does not look like a pig. It looks like a, a guinea pig. I know it has the word pig in it, but... Oh. But it is definitely not a pig. Now, I have to say right now, my pig is on freaking steroids. Come on, it's the size of that freaking tractor, for Christ's sake. Blah, 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 the pig, the pig, he's so big, he's flying. I think that pig will win. Only if pigs fly. Okay, wish granted. Jeez. I mean, come on, dude. Thing's, like, massive. That thing can make so much bacon. Oh, gosh, I'm starving now for bacon. It's 11 o'clock at night, and I want bacon. Yeah, yeah. What the hell was that? That was the weirdest dance I have ever seen. But, I'm not complaining. It's not. I didn't create the game. Not judging. So, earn shards by helping people. Ten shards will form a starite. Use starite vision to find shards. Let us use this starite. Oop, two people. First person, let's turn off the starite first of all. Help the sprout grow. Um... Uh, plant hormones. Plant harmonica. Oh, water. Uh, watering can. Okay. Let's water this bad boy. What the hell? Hey, it's Audrey too. And for those of you who are too young to know what that is, just go to Google, search up a uh, Little Shop of Horrors. It'll make all sense to you. It's a great movie. The plant scared away the other shard opportunity. Reset the level to return all objects to their original state while keeping your own earned shards. Uh, that seems kind of cheap, but who am I to complain? I, 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 it's a little sneaky and a little cheating, but I don't care. I'll definitely do it for you guys. <laughs> Okay. Well, the notepad can create many things. Vulgarity, copyright materials, and proper nouns are not allowed. So it's not <laughs> Scribblenauts Unlimited. It's Scribblenauts with restrictions. Stupid. Oh, looks like the woman that said help me was the one with the... needing help. My kitty's stuck on the top of the tree. Get her for me. Okay. Uh, gigantic pink ladder. Oops. Yeah, ladder. I thought I typed in the R. Help me! Oh, come. come on. It's too big. Okay. Climb. Okay, let's uh. That's definitely a little too big. That's uh. Pink ladder. There we go, that should do it. Let's climb up there. Let's get you a little pussy. Uh, the cat. I mean the cat. N no, 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 not in that sense. I swear. <laughs> Woohoo, I did it! Kitty, come home. Interesting name. Yay, I beat a level! Yay! Owning the basics was just the first step towards saving Lily. Use the bus stop to begin your journey in Capital City. Well, ooh, I can play his, his brother Edwin. 
Click Maxwell and select Pick Avatar to play his unlocked brother. Okay. Pick Avatar. Yeah, yeah, I wanna change him. Okay, let's see. Change your current avatar. I wanna... Edit you. What I mainly wanna do is this. Screw Maxwell. Mitch. Go in, that's all I wanna do. Ooh, wait, hold on, let's see. Whoa. Okay, um... What is that? Wait, what's this? Whoa, what the... What the heck? Uh... Okay... It's pretty interesting. Let's, uh... Uh... Yeah, okay, let's just keep with Mitch. I'm not gonna mess around. I may mess around off-camera, but... Let's just stick with Mitch. Okay. I'm gonna be you. And... There we go. Edwin's farm complete. Now, for the next part, I will head off to Capital City and try and become a Starite Master, or a Scribblenauts Master, however you want to put it. But, thanks you guys for watching the first part. I'll upload some more parts tomorrow. I was just putting this one up to get the feel of the game, see how it is. It's an interesting game. There are some restrictions, which kind of sucks. Um, but we'll see what goes from there. I mean, I've seen people, you can do so many crazy things. First things first, actually. I've seen people do this, and I want to try it. Nuke. Yes. Let's do this. Okay, I gotta do this before I leave. Let's set off this nuke, baby. Come on, come on. Cut. Blow up. There we go. Am I green? Do I have radiation on me now? Whoa. The hell? Uh. Add adjective. Toxic glowing. I love that. That is absolutely hilarious. Well, thanks again, you guys, for watching. Uh, I'll upload some parts tomorrow. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.